This is the eighth grade practice test for TCAP. For uh, this is question number twelve. Um, in a calculator, you can go in and make a list of these things, but I can't imagine you'd even bother worrying about it. Uh, an easier and much more uh, astute thing to do would be to convert everything to a nice uh, little uh, decimal form and then da -da -da -da, put them on top of each other and compare. The question asks me uh, to put the cards in order from least to greatest. It started off by saying, Shelly received the four cards shown below, and I'm hoping it's in a math class, otherwise her personal and social life are terrible. But anyway, P is the square root of 3, R is 1.51, S is 2, and T is 0 0.99. To make my life in some ways easier, I'm going to go ahead and convert that square root of 3 into a um, decimal. So when I type in square root of 3 into the calculator, it gives me 1.73. With this information, all I'm going to do is make a nice list of the numbers I'm also going to change this 2 to 2.0 so I can compare. Put them in a nice order for yourself. Make sure that you put the decimal points on top of each other. If you're like, I don't need to do this, then don't. I mean, this isn't for you then. Okay, compare each column left to right. So if I'm doing the least, which is what they asked me to do here, I need to go to the smallest one first. If I'm just looking in this first column here, my zero would be my smallest number, so the least would be this one. This is my first one in sequence, which would be uh, the T, so I'm going to put T is my first one. The second, uh, now I can compare uh, the ones that were left over, so what I'm left with would be the top two. Both have one, which means they come next, which means, incidentally enough, since the two is bigger than both one or zero in that first column, that last one in my column, or the fourth one, would be 2.0. So I know that S is the last one. Let's see if I can do anything with this information in the question. Well, the F, or F, choice F, I should say, says P comes first. Well, no, it doesn't, so F's out. Uh, G says S comes first, which is not true. S would come first if I was doing greatest to least, so you're going to have to sort of pay somewhat attention to what the question asks you. Heaven forbid you answer the question they actually ask. And now all I'm going to do to finish, because it's either H or J, is look at that second column. This column here. Now I'm trying to find the least of 5 or 7. Well, 5 would come before 7, right? So my second term in my sequence would be here. and the third one would be here. So my second one is 1.51, which is R, and my third one would be 1.73, which is P. So I'm looking for T, R, P, S, and that would be J. It's very simple. Once you like organize, uh, and you don't have to do this much writing, obviously. It does help if you make the column and you convert that square root of 3 to 1.73. That way you don't make some silly mistake. Like if you had gotten some weird number or something that would have popped it out, like you square root of 5. Well, it's easy to think like, well, oh, you know, it's 2 comes next or whatever it is. So be careful about how you set them up. Making the columns makes it easier for me to see, and I'm real visual. So whatever you like to do, the answer to number 12 is J.